so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the concept of the film in order of disappearance. When was it that you actually got uh, the script to you or got the idea to make this film? It's based on a story that I toyed around with for years. Uh, and then I met with a screenwriter who I worked with on the f previous film uh, called Somewhat Gentleman. And we, uh, I told him the story and then sent him the, the, this story and uh, we decided to, do, to work on this together. So this was in right after Berlin 2010. So when you had this original idea for the story, was it more the core structure of this man seeking revenge for his son, or was it more of the darkly comedic tone that sort of persists throughout the film? Uh, no, it was uh, originally it was not a comedy at all. It was about how, how would you go about inflicting uh, the pain and, or getting at the person who has a, you know, devastated your life and uh, and so it was the revenge aspect and the uh, the sort of primitive mechanisms that uh, seemingly rather civilized human being is uh, capable of. You worked with Selden Skarsgård in the movie and you've worked with him a bunch. What's your working relationship uh, like with him? I like to think that we uh, make ourselves or make each other uh, or do each other Good, you know, I think we uh, both are aware of the fact that uh, in order to achieve something you have to uh, take risks, so you may as well take big risks and hope that the gains will be uh, um, worth it. Um, we, uh, we like to play together, we both uh, um, have you know, great trust obviously in each other, so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and, and I think, uh, you know, I'm, I, I love working with actors, but you know, their job is exposed to them. They're so vulnerable, especially in film more so than in, in, in theater, that when you ask them to really uh, go far, if you throw them out on deep water, you have to be prepared to also be there to rescue them, you know, and, and to make them feel that uh, you're a guide they can rely on, you know. Uh, going back to more of the concept of the film, that darkly comedic aspect that uh, is in the movie, so is that something that sort of came through in the script writing process or a little bit later along the line? No, no, it's, it's been in the, in the process of writing and I'm a great uh, believer in, uh, in, in process. I, I uh, sort of, from experience, have uh, felt that I've been re rewarded whenever I, I sort of trust that the process will bring something good to it. So uh, with the screenwriter, you know, we, uh, he would bring things to the table that I hadn't thought of and we would explore it and we would discuss it and then we go back and, and it evolves and the humor evolves and the characters evolve and uh, uh, the sort of, you know, uh, metaphors sort of, or the uh, symbolism in the film evolves also, you know, and, and in that process uh, the humor perhaps becomes more uh, uh, apparent and then um, it, it keeps evolving, you know, on set with the actors when I'm rehearsing with the actors weeks ahead of shooting and, uh, and in the editing room afterwards. So would you say the film, or at least your perception of what the film is, changed during the process of making it? Or did you pretty much stick to your original uh, focus point and, and make the movie that you set out to make? Oh yeah, I mean it's the film that I wanted to make, but I think it's like riding a wild bull, you know. It, uh, if you want to make a blueprint of what's in your brain, you end up with something really boring because most of our brains are not that exciting <laughs> that's <laughs> sorry to say at least mine isn't you know so no, I, I, it's uh, I mean it's a theme uh, that I wanted to explore it's uh, I certainly recognize the humor as my own uh, but 
there's a lot of people who contributed to this and and managing to let it uh, blossom to its fullest is part of filmmaking i mean it's a very collaborative effort i think uh, it's it's more exciting to uh, to be good at managing that uh, wild ride than to simply just uh, write little uh, storyboards and duplicating it you know that's uh, then it becomes tedious it, it would bore me anyway it's mm -hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask you one more question. You're obviously multilingual. Is there an inherent challenge in making a film that has multiple languages in it, or coming from your background, is that natural for you? Um, I mean, I, it helps uh, because I've lived in the States for many years, uh, uh, and my English used to be better than it is <laughs> now because I've lived back in Norway for so many years. I did a film called *A Beautiful Country* about ten years ago. That uh, is set in, partly in Vietnam with the uh, actors speaking Vietnamese. And at that time, I was terrified about before I uh, before I uh, started how I would uh, manage to communicate with the, the Vietnamese actors. Uh, but I just had to do it. And I had uh, an assistant, and I went at it. And I realized that in that process, when I worked with wonderful Vietnamese actors who don't, didn't speak, uh, you know, I mean, one word of English, that you resort to other ways of communicating. You use touch and uh, your smile or your body language, whatever, to to, to make them uh, understand you or communicate with you and because film is there's such an urgency and such a necessity to making things work everybody are in a process are really so uh, geared in to make it work you know uh, so we all sort of contribute in the best way we are, uh, can and uh, and it sort of rid me of the fear that you know lack of uh, you know, verbal understanding would be, uh, you know, a huge hindrance, which is, you know, I mean, the, the Serb actors in, in this film, for instance, uh, I don't speak Serbian, and they, a couple of them didn't speak very good English, but uh, I cast them in, in, uh, on the Balkan, and they're wonderful actors. I mean, they're some of the finest actors in Croatia and Serbia and, um, and Bosnia, and... Uh, and and I wasn't afraid that I wasn't going to get to you know they're good actors so you know they their inclination would be to 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 do good work and to find out what the director wants and and, and so forth and and that's exactly what happened uh, and they were terribly excited about working and being part of Bruno Ganz's crew so they. They help Bruno with his Serbian uh, language, so yeah, it it, it worked out fine. <laughs>